Shalom. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakadash. Brothers, when I first seen this video, the first one of the first scriptures that popped into my mind was, "All things are lawful, but not all things are expedient." Right? Pardon me, brothers, but um, as we are aware of, you know, according to our law, for those of us, for those of us who are in the truth and in the knowledge, according to our law, it's perfectly fine if we have more than one wife. I mean, just because we can have more than one wife don't mean that we should. However, let's dive into this video and then I'm, I'm gonna bring out a few pre precepts. Let's get into it. Out here in the motherfucking Cayman Islands, my boyfriend Daniel and his wife are here too. And guess what? I'm about to roll up on their ass and let them know that I'm out here in the Cayman Islands too. And that it's a family vacation. I'd be goddamn if Daniel, my motherfucking married boyfriend, come to the Cayman Islands without me. Him and his wife and kids down there at the beach right now. I'm about to go down there and play with their ass. Hey. See, brothers, this shit right here is a damn headache, man. You know, brothers, what we got to understand is that even though it's lawful for us to have more than one woman, according to the scripture, right? That shit is not expedient, brothers. Let's bring out the first precept. Let's look at Exodus chapter 21, verse 10. And if a man takes another wife, he must not reduce the food, clothing, or the marital rights of his first wife. So, for instance, if you take a second wife, you can't take that second wife and reduce what you already given the first. You know, you got to already have enough substance, enough finances and what have you to take care of them both equally. Now, um, this um, woman here took it upon herself to, I guess, I suppose she financed her own trip to the Cayman Islands, Cayman Islands or what have you. But still, she showed up there to show the hell out, brothers. Um, as, I, as I mentioned, brothers, this, this is, brothers, this is a major fucking headache here, you know. Um, that brother, brothers, you don't want to be in this, in this situation here, you know. That's, that's, that's fucking chaos and your ass will have a major migraine behind shit like this. What you got? What we have to understand in this current kingdom in in Babylon, you know, um, Babylon the Great, you know, our women are finished, man. Our women are are, are are through, okay? You know, everything from their their hair, their weave, and so on and so forth, their bodies, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And not this woman here, because obviously she she's a, she has a petite figure, but at the same time, you know, overall. You know, our women, our people are through, you know. Um, let, let's look. Let me pull out this scripture here from Jeremiah. All right. Because just like the Lord told Jeremiah. During his time, you know, while he was in Babylon, the original Babylon. Right. Jeremiah chapter 16, verse two. And he told Jeremiah, thou shalt not take thee a wife, nor shalt thou have sons or daughters in this place. OK. Are we in Babylon the Great right now? Mystery, as the scripts, as Revelation refers to it, as mystery daughter Babylon, all right? For some brothers, you know, you already may have a wife, okay? Some brothers, you may not have a wife. That's, that's no sin either. But also at the same time, you know, I understand why Paul said, if, if I wish that most brothers would be like me, you know, meaning they don't have a wife. Why? Because you can serve the Lord 100%. You can be fully dedicated to you, to you. To, to serving the Lord, you know, teaching and preaching the word, reaching the lost sheep. However, yeah, you will have a job. You will work or what have you. Because like the scripture says, if a man not work, let him not eat. However, you know, you will be completely committed to um, preaching the gospel and reaching the lost sheep. All right. So that's something we got to keep in mind, man. While, while we're in Babylon and brothers, certain brothers don't have wives. You, you should be teaching and preaching and advancing more. You know, for those of us who already have wives, you know, uh, I wouldn't recommend that any brother wake up with that shit on his mind collecting wise because you will be ha you will have to deal with issues like this. Let's get back into it. Hey, Daniel. Boom. You thought you was going to go on vacation without me? The fuck? Let's look at that shit, brothers. Shit. I'm about to go down there and stun on his wife because I look better than that hoe anyway. And I look better than them kids. And me and Daniel's kids going to be beautiful as fuck and look better than his normal kids. Because side babies are always cuter the regular babies let's get something straight brothers even if she even <laughs> even though she just um 
even though she sounds like a damn fool here, but let's just say even though if they were, you know, something I've seen in 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 this life is, say if a man has two wives, or we'll 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 keep it simple, if a man has um, children by one woman and then children by another woman, the second woman. I've seen men that if those children are better looking, they appeal more to him. You got a handsome son, another beautiful daughter. He'll take care of that family more than the first son. But what does the scriptures say? Let's look at Deuteronomy 21, verse 15. You can read 15 through um, um, 17 to get it all. But I'll just paraphrase here. It just simply says if, if a man has children by his first wife and he hate her, but you turn around and have children by your second wife and you love that second wife, right? You, ought, you still ought to give a double portion to that first son of the wife you hated because he's the fruit of your loins. Even if you did have a second son by the second wife and you love that second wife, you know, you can't diminish that because that firstborn son, he's the fruit of your loins. OK, so that first son, he gets a double portion because because he's the firstborn. He broke the womb. All right. Let's get back into what this what, what this woman, silly woman has to say. See, brothers, that, that shit there, man, that should have make a man go insane. I wanted to grab also an additional example, brothers, of, of, of the shit you'll have to deal with in Babylon the Great. Again, just to keep it on the front of brother's mind, according to the law, it's perfectly fine for brothers to have more than one wife. However, I wouldn't recommend that at any brother wake up, you know, focused or your daily agenda is to, to, to add unto yourself multiple wives, brothers, because we, we're just simply not, not in that time, okay? Let's, let's, let's see what happens here. This think I'm something to play with. Let me fix my phone. This really think I'm something to play with. Sad. Won't even take care of this Hmm. You know, and taking care, of, as she said, take care of your churn, you know, taking care of your children, that also falls into what, what we read in Exodus 21. You know, you, he must not reduce the food, the clothing, or the marital rights of his first wife. Guess what part of those marital rights are? Not only is it sex, but you're taking care of that wife, you're taking care of those children. But let's hop right, in, right back into the video, okay? That's just how it happened to you. That's just how it happened to you. Right though. Where the you come from, like, That's just how it fucking happened to you. What the fuck you mean what I mean? mean? And I'm supposed to. Right, just like I'm you popped up you at mean, my mother door feelings. yesterday. You was fing with me yesterday. You was in my bed yesterday. You stood with me last night. You I'm like Brothers, I want I want you brothers to keep something in mind, you know. And I know some brothers, they don't even have wives. Their mind is completely focus on the kingdom as the scripture says some brothers have become eunuchs and i'm paraphrasing here for the sake of the kingdom and I, I could i could me having a wife i can understand why because you're solely focused on preaching the gospel reaching the lost sheep and and waking up the dry bones but um um at the same time brothers have this on your front of your mind in the kingdom we won't have to deal with shit like this i mean the law is going to be written in our inward parts so when we take amongst ourselves another wife, two or three wives or multiple wives or what have you, it's going to be done in righteousness, man. You know, let's get back into the video. I'm lying. So I'm lying. I'm lying. You did not. You ain't, you ain't stood by me. You ain't tell your son. Excuse me. You didn't tell your son. Hello. So you going to play with me like that? Boy, don't make me up in this store. Do not make me cut up in this mother store. Because you know you full of you don't do for your turn. You say, you say. So you call, boy, I swear to God, boy, I would really click out in here. You don't need to say nothing. Don't tell him a mother thing. Don't say nothing to him. I don't give a who looking at us. He ain't never going to leave me. He ain't going to never leave me. Never ever is he going to leave me. He going to always with me. So know that. No, he going to always with me. I want you to know that. So you're, you're, so you're stupid. You're a stupid mother. You one of them stupid mother. Keep this in mind, brothers. You know, Isaiah 4 and 1 is going to take care of, take care of itself, brothers. You know, I wouldn't recommend that a man, a, a man seeking to himself to stack up various wives or multiple wives. But the time is coming where, where four women, where, where seven, pardon me, seven women will cleave to one man. 
but that 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 should not it, it's not supposed to be occurring right now at this very moment okay all we got to do is just focus on being righteous seeking the most high and he'll and he'll lead unto he'll bring unto us the women that should be with us okay shalom